So in this question, you're being asked to calculate some probabilities using this probability mass function. This is this comes from a Poisson distribution. Now this looks slightly different to a normal Poisson distribution because it has this term here 0.9k. Let's actually see what the probability mass function of a Poisson distribution looks like. So this is from our lesson here, the probability mass function of a Poisson is lambda to the power of x over x factorial times exponential of negative lambda, where that lambda is the mean of the distribution. So the average value we should expect. Now we see here in this case, the lambda is equal to 0.9k. And what is that k? That k stands for k minutes. So basically, this is written such that it is flexible depending on what time interval we are looking at. Of course, you need to remember that the Poisson distribution tells you, gives you information about the random variable which counts the number of events in a certain time interval. So let's see how this works for part A, for instance. Let's do that down here. We're saying the time interval is five minutes. So what is the lambda in this case? Lambda in this case is 0.9, sorry, 0.9 times 5, which is 4.5. So that means that on average we should expect 4.5 planes in a five minutes interval. So once we have that value, that lambda, we are really just applying this formula here. So what are we asked to calculate? The probability that x is equal to 9. So that will be, we're now going to our formula. So that is 4.5 to the power of 9 divided by 9 factorial times exponential function of negative 4.5. So let's get a calculator and do this uh, calculation. So you all, of course, use calculators. You need to know your own calculator. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, if there's a function like the exponential function, I like starting with that. So it's 4.5 minus. Now on this calculator, the exponential function don't, if actually first I thought, oh, is this the exponential function? Uh, you could try 4.5 times exponential but it just gives you, it allows you to move the decimal place. Okay, that's not the exponential function. The exponential function shows if you use that second option here, it's down here. But you need to work out how your calculator works. So 4.5 minus the exponential function, then times 4.5 to the power of 9, close parenthesis and divided by 9 factorial and what we get is 0 0.0232 so that is 0 0.0232 so on average we should expect 4.5 planes the probability that there will be nine planes in five minutes is very very small around two percent if we follow that distribution. So what about B? We are now looking at two minute periods. So two minutes. So what's our lambda? Our lambda is 0 0.9 times two, which is 1.8. So that is what we will be using in the uh, density function, 1.8 as our lambda. We should expect 1.8 planes every two minutes and the probability we are asked for is probability that x is larger or equal to four now really we're having an infinite number of possible outcomes because that's probability of four plus probability of five plus probability of six and so forth the way to calculate is is to recognize this that this is all outcomes but for 0, 1, 2, 
and 3. So it's 1 minus the probability of x is equal to 0 minus the probability that x is equal to 1 minus the probability that x is equal to 2 and minus the probability that x is equal to 3. So that means you need to calculate four of these probabilities and then subtract them from one. Of course, you could also think of this being one minus the sum from uh, x equals zero to three of the probability of x, big X being equal to little x. And what this is, is just one minus the probability that x is smaller or equal to three. Now this, of course, is just what we know as the CDF, the cumulative density function for that random Poisson distributed random variable taking value small or equal to three. Now, to do these sort of calculations, I usually find it easier to go to Excel. Remember, we will expect you to be able to do these calculations either way by hand or using Excel. So let's go uh, here. The So we need probabilities for X being equal to naught, one, two, and three. So you could of course just replicate this density function as a function yourself or you can use the built-in function in Excel which is Poisson distribution. It asks you for the x value so let's calculate the probability that x is equal to zero. Actually, before we do that I'll just write lambda here in our case that is 1.8 so let's go to write the parameter somewhere. So that is Poisson distribution, want x, comma, then we need the mean or the lambda, that is this one, and I shall put uh, dollar signs around this. And then it asks me cumulative or not. Let's start with false. Let's calculate the probability mass function first. So we have this. Now we can just copy that down. Yeah, let's just check that everything works correctly. So these are the probabilities here. Okay. And of course, what we need is one minus the sum of these probabilities. So the probability that X will be larger or equal to four is 10.871%. Let's show you a different way because we know this is also the CDF, okay, the sum of all these four probabilities. So we could also use the Poisson distribution, only do one calculation. So it's Poisson distribution, three, the same lambda, but now we type true because we're asking Excel to give us the CDF and we're getting that. And then when we calculate one minus that, we get exactly the same result, 10.87%. So let's go back here. That is 0 0.1087.